my friend Gary Burr and I, uh, he and I have written a lot of songs together. And uh, Gary went to work for Carol King uh, on her uh, living room tour. Uh, I want to say about 10 years ago or so. Um, and she wanted to continue doing, uh, it was basically her and two people accompanying her. And she wanted to continue to do uh, something like that. Uh, one of the people that Gary and she had worked with had passed on, so she needed a replacement. Anyway, he, he recommends me to Carol King. And uh, in the process, she says, well, I'm going to come to Nashville because I want to meet Jim. Gary talks her into doing a show at the Bluebird Cafe, an in-the-round show, what we, we do uh, with four songwriters sit in the middle of the room and swap songs. So on this particular night, it was going to be Gary, his wife, Georgia, and Carol and I. And she said, well, since we're doing this, um, let's just kind of get together and, uh, you know, work up some songs. So I walk in the house the first day to practice with Carol King. She walks up to me, throws her arms around me, and she says, you're going to do fine on my songs. I want to learn your songs so I can play along. <laughs> and I'm thinking, you're Carol King. <laughs> You know, uh, uh, again, um, we did we did that show at the Bluebird, and then we did about three or four private shows, uh, what they call industrial shows for uh, private companies and all. And um, first of all, Gary is is one of my closest friends. I introduced him to his wife Georgia. The three of us were singing background to the first lady of popular song. And it was, it was just that it was, I have a tape somewhere of us practicing. Will you still love me tomorrow? And in the outro, she's crying and we're all just trying to hold it back. It was, there's nothing to describe how it feels singing with people. You love adorning music that had such a huge impact on you. She's, she's just really something, man. I mean, and, 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 brilliant beyond what we all know about what she knows and what she can do and what she did and what she was really responsible for that nobody knows. And in this process, she released an album of her demos from that era. And when you go back and listen to that, you see where all of these people got their ideas when they recorded her songs from the Righteous Brothers to Bobby V to Aretha, you name it. It's all there in her demos. She's, I mean, for, you know, they say don't ever meet your heroes. Well, you know, that's not the case with her because she's a, a, a for, she's a little bitty person and an enormous human being. And, uh, all that stuff that you suspect about her talent, you have no idea. It's, it's just beyond. And she's just so normal. I mean, any for as normal as anybody can be who has been through what she's been through. You know, she's just, uh, I'm a fan. Need I say more? <laughs> <laughs>